Sugar Village is more is uh, a lot about the artists, and we have the artists coming here, um, and we're talking to them, and, and they perform. They perform, and yeah. it's awesome. But it's it wouldn't be such a festival if there wasn't a lot of other people working behind the scenes. And uh, a big part of Eurovision is the volunteers, mm. the people um, working for getting nothing paid, but just doing it for the love of the whole. Uh, Eurovision mm. and uh, the love for the city I guess also mm. and we have uh, some of uh, the head of the volunteers and, and uh, no, some no, not the head not the head no 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 head ish how close are you how close it's are you head. to the how close I'm are you to the top no, no, I'm just a team leader yeah, team, team leader well that's team leader. Okay. hey that's Lars that's good enough yes Lars, Lars. is yeah. a team leader yes and then we had uh, I'm sorry Sophie Sophie, Sophie. Sophie that's right yes. Sophie and Frida Frida and you're, you're all you sound like you're British, but you are actually from Malmö. Yeah, yes. We are. Yes. Tell me a little bit. What what, what do you do uh, here at uh, as volunteers? Well, um, I'm um, I'm a team leader, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are six team leaders all together, um, working the village and the Euro Club. Mm -hmm. So um, we've div divided the the times that we have to work between our six. Mm -hmm. So um, we are here and we are there. At the same time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> same time. Yes. How many how many volunteers are you working just here? Now we're not counting uh, the arena. We're no. just doing the uh, yeah. your village and your. I would say that um, covering the Euro Club, we are about 30, 35, mm -hmm. and I would say um, 30, 35. Here as well. Maybe 50. Wow. So um, I mean 75 altogether to to run the, the two places. Wow. wow. That's great. And, and uh, how long have you been doing this now? For is it? I started Sunday, so this is my second day today. Uh -huh. So I'm quite new, but it's, okay. it's been amazing so far. You get to meet lots of people from all kinds of countries, and it's just fun, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Coming together. And and how did you decide to become volunteers? Like, is it? Uh, are, are you a big Schlager fans or, or Eurovision fans, or, or is it? I am quite a big Eurovision fan, I guess, um, and I just heard someone, I think, in the city just mention it to me, and I, I was like, that's a great opportunity, and I would love to do that. Mm. And I decided to apply, and it was quite a big process, I guess, having to upload your CV online and all that kind of thing. Um, and then they told me you get to be a, a volunteer, and I was just really happy, and mm. it's been good so far, definitely. Well, so you, they, they could, uh, you know, you had to go through a selection, uh, uh, so they right. could, so there's so many people applying to be a volunteer, so they could be really picky, I guess, because yeah. I've met, I've met so many volunteers and they're always happy, they're always uh, yeah. uh, helping out, and yeah, yeah it's, it's great. They're the best. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what has been the, the most fun uh, part of the, doing uh, volunteering right now? For me, uh, it has been because I'm mostly at Euro Club, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just been lo loads of fun. You, you meet all the celebrities, uh, all the artists, all the delegations. It's just so much fun, and yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. Are you allowed to dance at the Euro Club? Yeah. As a volunteer, you are. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there, wow. There's great. Uh, one posi position where you are just guarding the restaurant. Okay. And uh, if you stand out there where sure. while there's club, you. Yeah, we dance. Not. We have a lot. So of that's the yeah. sweet spot to be as a volunteer. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, What's yes. the worst part of being um, that in, in, in? I don't know. With, guard, which guarding the gate, I think. Guarding the gate. Yeah. <laughs> just you, you're just sitting at a chair, doing oh, nothing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. And you mix up. Um, you do like different things every day, or is it? Do you have the same tasks, so to speak? Or do you two different tasks. Okay. Uh, today I've been at the information point. So I'm basically speaking to tourists and all kinds of people coming asking questions about yeah. where to, how to come to the arena, what to see in Malmö, things like that. And then three days I'm going to be at the, the recycling point. Recycling um, point? Exactly. Um, Tell people fans where to just put coming. So I'm just going to tell fans. people how <laughs> to recycle, where to throw things away, things like that. Ah, okay. um, talk about Malmö being a very environmentally friendly city, things like that. Mm. So. Ah, good. So is the most common question 
is Andreas Lundstedt in Malmö or not? Uh, that's what I've heard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, oh, is he here? I've heard he's here. Oh. I'm here. I'm here in the studio. Come and visit us. We've got, we've actually got a flag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got a flag, and when it's raised, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like then we know. Like the <laughs> is that true? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. But the, the environmental, environmental the, the recycling thing is really, really great, I think, because mm -hmm. I've heard that in, in Europe, they're not maybe the best of recycling, uh, we are very, like, f f what do you call it? frontal yeah. when it comes to recycling. Yeah, I think Sweden, we're quite good with, yeah. with recycling, and especially Malmö as a city, I think they're really good with that. So, so maybe we that's sort of the image they want to portray to, right. the, to the people. And maybe we'll teach uh, other countries to, yeah. to be yeah, you know, aware of, yeah. of stuff Definitely. like that. It's really good. So uh, I have to ask now, I mean, the, the, you're, you're meeting lots of uh, the delegations and the countries. Which is the, the nicest delegation, nicest country that has been on your release right now? And if you, if you say Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Ireland. Ireland? Oh, yeah, Ireland. they're nice, isn't they? You met yes. Ireland. Oh, I met the background, uh, yeah. The, the background <laughs> I met singer. the background singer of yeah. Ireland. Did you meet her, like a, a blonde girl? Uh, beautiful, I, I fell think in love so, with but, but the drummer. The drummer? Uh, yeah, he's the Okay, the you nicest. can have the drummer, I'll take the background singer. <laughs> he's the nicest. And just because uh, at your club, when you're guarding the VIP room, mm -hmm. they're just, they're coming out to talk to you. Oh, just nice. See that you're bored. So wow. they come and have a chat, and that's just, that's great. Cool. Sophie, do you, what's. I haven't actually been in, in touch with the, with the artists, the singers themselves, but I've been talking to tourists from, mm -hmm. from all countries. And I mean, Irish people, obviously, they're lovely. I think. Wow. Everyone I talk to, they're just really nice. It's just a really nice atmosphere around mm -hmm. here. I met quite a lot of Australians today, actually, and that's isn't that funny? Yeah, they travel the, like the all the world to get here. Yeah. It's crazy, wow. and they're really nice, and they're yeah. so excited and um, so right, happy right. to be here. Yeah. Cool. What's the worst uh, <laughs> artist? Um, no, you know, we probably won't say that, <laughs> any. No. no, no. They're all very nice. <laughs> they're <Please. all> very <laughs> There must be some assholes <laughs> out there. No? <laughs> Could you please come here? <laughs> Asshole. Oh, no, but, uh, uh, what, what, and then what's the, the most uh, uh, common questions that you get as volunteers? I mean, where's the toilet? No. We get that yeah. quite a lot. Um, I don't know, today it's been a lot of different questions actually. We get a lot of like, how do I get to the arena type of questions. Um. Um, also sometimes what is there to see in Malmö? I'm here for five days, what do I see? All what right. do I do? Um, and then what's going on on this stage at the Eurovision Village, mm -hmm. what's going on in the Folkets Park, things like that. Okay. I do have a question, how do you get to the arena? Because it's pretty far from, from the centre mm -hmm. of, of Mama. Is there a train? Is oh, there a yeah. Oh, there's a train. Yeah. See, I don't know. You can take and a bus. And a bus. bus. No. But and I mean, if you take the train from the central station, for example, it's just six minutes on the train. Ah. It's super quick, so... Mm -hmm. It's very so convenient. Cool. If we would give you now uh, um, a couple of seconds to promote Malmö, what would you say that you are supposed to see here, except Eurovision? Because we're, we're totally Eurovision nerds right now, so, mm -hmm. so we know what's happening in Eurovision. But It's just really nice, I think, to go around, talk to people from Malmö, you know, experience the atmosphere, perhaps go out to the Western Harbour area, where you've got modern new houses, sort of sustainable houses. See the turning torso building, obviously. Um, discover the parks. There are so many parks around in Malmö, things like that. Eat food, maybe go to Mullan, where you've got sort of the multicultural sort of center of Malmö. You can eat all kinds of international food, falafel, things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I, I just told uh, some Australians that they um, um, mustn't um, miss the Bondi Beach of Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have a fabulous beach <laughs> yeah. just along the coast uh -huh. and, and you, you mustn't miss that. I'm going to try to go there and kite surf. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Have you been, yeah. been there? But no, it's fantastic. Yeah. And also, the, the people of Melbourne are friendly. Yeah. Yeah. I've lived here. And, and yes, yes <laughs> I, I, I was this close to moving to Malmö because I was sick and tired of the Stockholm people. Sorry. But the Malmö, it was so helpful and so you know no well, you know the, one of the um the, the big um, um the positive things about malmo is that everything is very close yeah <laughs> it's not a big city a bicycle that's all you need mm. that's all you need or yeah. two feet yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all you need yeah. and um you're working here at your village and then this uh, your village <laughs> is actually opened uh, two days ago i think saturday Sa yeah. yeah saturday and we had uh, we filmed the grand opening when uh, uh, they opened the whole stage yeah. so 
thank you guys for watching and keep up the good job. <laughs> yeah, and thank you. Yeah, thanks for thank doing you. this. Yeah.